Method number two to force a card on an audience volunteer. Here we go. You go through the cards. You say at any point, you, sir, can say the word stop. Wherever you say stop, that will be your card. I'll go through the deck and you say the word stop at any point. Do you understand? Good. I'll go through the cards. You say the word stop. They say stop anywhere. And you show the bottom card. You tell them to remember that card. Okay. You just forced that card on your audience member. How did you do it? What you do is you simply, once again, use the peak. You look at the bottom of the deck. You look at the bottom of the deck, you remember the card that's on the bottom of the deck, and that is the card you're going to force. I showed you the cross-cut force. This is um, a little bit more complicated for somebody just starting out, but it's very deceptive. I use this one actually quite a bit in my stage show uh, because from a distance, no one can tell what's going on. Here's what happens. At the beginning, I am lifting off packets from the top of the deck and showing them to the audience member. Now, of course, I don't show it that way. This is how I normally do it. I hold it up. Think of a card. Think of that card. Wherever you say stop, that will be the card I want you, sir, to think of. So you do that several times, and you're really cutting off parts of the deck and showing it. You set them down. You're just cutting off parts of the deck, sliding them over, and showing them. All right. That's what you do when you're explaining what to do. I always say, do you understand? Yes. Good. Now... When they're going to pick the card, when you need to force it, again, you've peeked at the bottom here, six of hearts. I go through the deck. This time, though, watch the hands. I simply, instead of pulling stacks towards me off the top of the deck and showing them, I pull the top of the deck away from me. You see that? I pull it away and I don't set it back down on top. When I was doing it before, I was taking them and setting them down and showing the next one. This method, you pull off, you set it in the palm of your hand. You pull off, you pull some off, you pull some off. Eventually, usually about the middle of the deck, they will say stop. At that point, you just flip over your right hand and show the bottom card. Here, is the card I want you to remember. Here is the card I want you to remember. You see, it doesn't matter where they say stop, here is the card. Doesn't matter where they say stop, here is the card. That's a great way to force the bottom card of the deck. Another way to force. A little bit more deceiving. If you're doing more than one trick for somebody, more than one card trick that relies on a force, I always use multiple forcing methods. That's method number two.